Ryan, how big was it to get out to that early lead, cash in on the tournament, <clears throat> and play the shot in there? It was huge. It was huge. Um, defense played played great all night, and it started off early in that first first quarter. When they got that turnover, we were able to uh, turn it into points. And that's something we talk about all the time: is, is playing comp- complementary football. And um, yeah, Johnny made a heck of a play right there. You know, tight coverage. Um, they did a good job taking away the inside routes, and one on one on the outside, put it up, and, and he made a heck of a play. They jumped on the team all season. How critical was it? Well, it's huge. You know, we talked about it all week. It, they've outscored opponents. I don't remember what the number was, but it was a lot to a little uh, in the first quarter. And, and we knew coming in that that was going to be a, a, a critical point in the game for us to, to get out, move the ball early, get points on the board, and get some stops. And, uh, and we were able to do that. Right. Can you take us through the uh, touchdown to Philippe Raymond? Did you at any point think you overshot him? No, I, I, I felt good about it. And he did a great job. Uh, they rolled late. And safety was kind of hanging back in the middle. He kept it thin uh, away from him and uh, had great protection, great pocket, was able to, uh, to step up and, and get him the football. He made a great catch. It's not an easy catch when your, your ball's coming straight over your shoulder like that downfield and um, made a heck of a play. How do you rate Derek Henry as a passer? As a passer? Well, he's one for one for a touchdown, so that's pretty good, right? Um, yeah, it's a play we've had in for a few weeks now and, and finally get it called. It's looked great in practice, and, and to get it called, the touchdown, it was, a, it was a big play for us, obviously, you know, Great throw, and then and Corey going up and make a contested catch in the back of the end zone was huge. When you hear that play dialed up in your ear, you obviously weren't on the field, but you hear that play being dialed up. What, what do you think? I'm excited. You know, I, like I said, it's looked great in practice all week. Um, Derek's actually done a really good job putting the ball in a good spot every time we've ran it. So I had a lot of confidence going in. You know, I wasn't even looking at Derek. I was looking at uh, at Corey, making sure they they. Uh, bit the fake on the backside, and and they did. Corey made a made a heck of a play. Did you, did you have a clean look at everything John had to do to make that catch at the end zone? I guess what was your reaction to everything he had to do? Uh, yeah, he had tight coverage. He uh, guy was kind of underneath him, put it high, uh, saw him go up. I think he may have stopped it with one hand and then and grabbed it with two on the way down. But um, you know, he's made some some big catches for us, contested catches. Uh, Oakland's another one that jumps in my brain. You know, uh, guy all over him and makes a one handed catch. So. There's a lot of confidence with John New and in tight coverage that he has the ability to go up and make a play. How many you were over up to Ryan uh, with the touchdown to Still, I wonder if it seems a little unusual that, that neither of these playoff wins have thrown for over, over 100 yards. What does it say about how well you guys are controlling the, I guess, the line of scrimmage and then being able to run the ball successfully? Yeah, it's definitely unusual. <laughs> um, can't say I've, I've seen it before, but. Uh, that's that's kind of the way the games have played out. You know, we, we are not dropping back much, not not throwing the ball much at all. So, uh, but we're moving the ball up front on the ground, and, and Derek's doing a great job making big plays, um, running physical, finishing runs. Offensive line's doing a great job of, of moving the line of scrimmage and, and giving them creases. So, um, at this point in the season, it's it's about doing whatever it takes to win. You know, whether it's um, you know throwing at thirty or throwing at ten. You know, whatever it takes to win, that's what this team's going to do. You took over at, when this team was two and four. You took over as quarterback. Could you have imagined being one step away from the Super Bowl? You always dream of it. You know, you don't. Uh, you dream of it, but you just. My my mentality is one week at a time. Just just get the get the win that week, and then we'll move on to the next one after that. So, yeah, you, you, big picture, you dream of of playing in the Super Bowl, but uh, as the season goes on, it's it's one week at a time. Do whatever I can each and every week to to come away with a win. How much is this? How much is the confidence? Each week, and what was the scene like maybe in the locker room after you won this game? It was fun. It was a fun locker room. That's that's one thing I love uh, about about playing football is is the locker rooms after after wins. Man, they're special. That time you get to share together, especially after a big win like this in the playoffs. Uh, everyone dancing, having a good time. That's that's something I'll always remember. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a special moment there in the locker room after How game. How comforting is it having someone like Derrick Henry rumble the way he's been rumbling? rumbling? Well, it's huge. You know, he's 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 running his tail off. You know, it's unbelievable some of the runs he makes, the physical uh, finishes that he has. Is able to to stiff arm and and the speed to get uh, behind the secondary and and make those long runs. So, um, yeah, it's been fun to fun to watch him go, and obviously, it's been it's been critical for our success. It's huge. It's complimentary football. It's something we talk about all the time. And uh, defense, like I said, made big plays all day, uh, multiple fourth down stops, multiple turnovers. And 
the ones early where we were able to, to immediately turn into points and then um, I think there was one in the second half as well where we were able to get a fourth down stop and, and immediately got points. So uh, when we are able to do that, you know, the score changes quickly and, and puts us in a good spot. Being one of the new guys that joined this team this year, was there a point where it really struck you that the formula for this team winning is 22, running the football the way he does? Yeah, I think it's as the season's gone on, right? We've won multiple ways. Uh, there's been games when we've thrown it more. Obviously, lately it's it's been running it, running the football. Uh, it's something we started, you know, I guess three weeks ago when we said our playoffs started going against the Texans. It was um, teams that can run the football, stop the run, and take care of the football, will win in, in the playoffs. And uh, it's been kind of the formula so far. So uh, yeah, every game is a little different. I think we can we showed we can win multiple ways, but. Well, lately, it's been been through 22. In your opinion, why is it so important to be able to run the football? Like, why is that such a big factor? Just dominating the line of scrimmage, controlling the clock, controlling the football, uh, keeping your defense off the field. All those factors, you know, go into it, and uh, you know, just being a, a physical team, a physical team that can finish. This franchise lost a couple as the number one seed to the Ravens back in Nashville. It's history. Um, there are a lot of guys who are kind of classics in this organization at home watching this, rooting for you guys, hoping that you've exacted some karmic revenge. <laughs> uh, do you think about those guys at, at any moment along this way or, or upon hearing that question, and is it gratifying to know you absolved something from them? Yeah, I hope, I hope it, uh, you know, brought a good feeling to those guys. You know, obviously I know there's a, a bunch of guys that I, I watched in my younger days and, and respected respected their game and so um, hopefully we we're we're making uh, former Titans proud and, and Nashville proud. Do you remember those games, right? Remember those games? I, I don't. I, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and say I do. Uh, I saw some clips that they, they were showing during the game uh, but I, I don't remember those games. Without thinking too far ahead, I mean, if you win one more game, if you get to the Super Bowl and you get to the Super Bowl at the stadium where you started it well, that's obviously the goal, but um, as you go throughout the week, you're not thinking past, I don't at least, some, some guys maybe can do that, but I, I just focus on what's in front of me, like I said, doing everything I can each and every week just to, to come away with a win, and uh, you know, no matter who we play, it's a, it's a good football team, and we're going to be on the road again, so it's going to be a, a tall challenge for us, but... Um, you know, I, I like our team and I like our chances. Will you, will you watch the game tomorrow? And, and what is it like, kind of, as you await your next opponent? Yeah, I probably won't watch every second of it, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll go through my my post game routine tomorrow and, and do the things I do to uh, put this game to bed, take care of my body, and, and start getting ready for the next one. So um, definitely, um, we'll, we'll try to catch catch some of that game for sure and and see uh, see who we're going to be playing. Right. How big is it to get Raymond back and? Oh, that's huge! You know, he's a he's a guy who's came up big for us a few times this year. Uh, he's a, a guy that we believe in and have a lot of trust. I have a lot of trust in. He works his tail off every day in practice. He's just a quality, quality guy. A guy you love having on your team. And and to see him make a big play in a playoff game was huge. You know, he, he ran a great route. Uh, obviously, he's extremely fast and uh, and made a heck of a catch there to finish it off. Last one, one word. One word to describe Derek. What would that be? What would the one word be? Special. Special. You know, I think I'm going to elaborate on my one word here. But uh, I think he's special because he, he's got the size that is extremely rare in, in a running back, but then he also has the speed uh, to go with it. So he has the size to run those physical two, three-yard runs inside where there's no hole, and he's, he's getting three yards, keeping uh, us in, in uh, ahead of the chains. But then also, if he breaks free, he gets to the first level, he has a speed to take it 60, 70 yards, which is extremely rare, and for that reason, he's special. Did you get a chance to talk to Lamar after the game, and what would you tell him? Uh, briefly, yeah. You know, I, Lamar's a guy I respect. You know, he's a, I remember watching him in, in college at Louisville, and um, he's, he's a special player. He's, he's fast. He's elusive. Uh, he can fling it. And uh, first time I've got to see him in person. So, uh, yeah, I told him he's a special player, and he's, he's uh, really fun to watch and wish him the best.